Hi, I'm Chris Ryan and you join me at the Belfry here in the Telemay Performance Center. And the video today is going to give you three key things that you can focus on to improve the start of your downswing. Just before we give you those three key points, please follow me on my social media platforms. The details of those should hopefully be in the corner of the screen anytime back now. You've got Facebook, you've got Twitter, and you've got Instagram. You can connect with me on any of those. If you have got a suggestion on a video you would like me to film, maybe it's something you're struggling or struggling with, I should say, or maybe it's something you would like me to explain, then please let me know via one of those and hopefully I can do a video for you. Right, so today's video is all about how to start the downswing. And we're going to give you three things that you can say, maybe think about or look at in practice, which is going to help you create this transition part of the golf swing a little bit better. So point number one is really to understand that the downswing should start before the golf club has completed its move away from the golf ball. So before that golf club finishes moving away from the golf ball, the body has started to move towards the golf ball. So the downswing starts before the golf swing, sorry, before the golf club finishes its move away from the golf ball. So that's point number one. That's really, really key to understand. I have done a video on this in the past, but we have to understand that the golf swing is not simply a backswing and a downswing. There is a backswing, there is a downswing, but there is also a transition. In this transition, what we find is the body is often starting to move down before the club has completed. And that is really, really important for a number of things. It's important for creating the right sequence of events. So the kinematic sequence in terms of how the body fires and functions. It's also really important for rhythm, timing, and basically allowing that golf club to fall into the right position. So point number one is really not a technical thing. It's just understanding that the downswing begins before the golf club completes its move away from the ball. Have a look at some swings in slow motion and you will see this happening. Okay, so let me just hit one. And I will show this in slow motion and you'll hopefully see uh, those points that I was talking about there. So just before we move on to number two, let's show you what we mean by that. So I've just got a seven iron here. Okay, I'm not pretty happy with that. So hopefully you can see there that the downswing, as I say, starts before the backswing with the, or the club moving away finishes. Right, so point number two is all about this lead knee. In my case, it's my left knee. And we're going to look at how that moves in the downswing. So we get told that the downswing should start from the ground up. Okay, I would sort of agree with that, but I think it's a little bit more specifically, I think the knee is quite key in that. We don't start with the foot because it's difficult to move the foot without moving the knee. So what I want you to feel is that from the top of your backswing, obviously we know that the club will maybe still move in a whack, I want you to move your lead knee away from your trail knee, okay? So I do not want you to feel like you shift weight like this, where you can see my lead knee is not really moving too much. I want you to feel that that lead knee, I call it roll, it rolls out towards the target, okay? Notice how it's outside my left hip by this point, okay? You'll also see that that has the effect of starting to put some more pressure on the outside of my foot, okay? All too often I see golfers who are trying to shift pressure or weight, however they want to term it, and what they'll do is they'll just keep that knee in position and move over this way. Yes, I have started to create some more pressure under this lead side, but my knee is not in the right position. We haven't created enough of a gap between that and the back knee, okay? So, it's so very simply, we can start off and we can make some back swings, and we can start to feel like I separate the knees. My left knee, I feel, is rolling so it gets more outside of my lead hip. This is really, really important. What this is gonna do, it's gonna help you sequence the downswing correctly. It's gonna help you put the hips and the pelvis into the correct position. And it's gonna be much easier from here to start to push off the ground as we start to straighten that leg and see the pelvis rise. Okay, so point number two is all about understanding that that lead knee has to move away from the trail knee and a rolling type motion gets more target side than the hip and that allows us from there to start to use the ground better on the way through. So point number two is all about that lead knee, okay? Point number three is down to what we're gonna do with the golf club, okay? Because in this transitional period, 
as the downswing starts, how we start to move this golf club is really, really important, okay? Because what we do here can very often influence the impact. So, what I will see all too often in that transition or in that downswing is that from the top, the golf club starts to steepen too much this way, okay? We start to steepen the golf club this way, which is often a result of what this right arm is doing, okay? If we look at really, really good golfers, we will see that very, very often, the motion they have as they start down is one where the golf club shallows slightly. This is very, very often linked to this right arm and how we use this right arm. So what I want you to do is I want you to feel that as you get to the top, as you start down, I want you to feel that your right arm is rotating what we call externally. So it's externally rotating, which is feeling like it works this way. Okay, so I'm trying to move my elbow more in front of me and my hand more behind me effectively. What that should help you to do is it should help you to create this slightly flattening motion of the golf club. For me, that's really, really important. Because as I say, all too often I will see this right arm internally rotate, elbow gets a bit too high, club shaft steepens, and then from there it's very, very difficult to deliver that club with any kind of consistency in terms of speed, attack, uh, strike, all that kind of stuff. So point number three is to feel like from the top, we are using this right arm to cause the golf club to flatten a little bit. If we can start to mirror that with what the lead knee is doing, we start to get a down, so in which looks, or a start to down, so in which looks a lot, lot more like what we would see from better players, okay? As opposed to this move that we tend to see from maybe the higher handicappers who struggle to control path, face, strike, speed, all those kind of things, okay? Three things there. Now, there are a lot of things which help the downswing start correctly. We've got to make sure the head stays still. We've got to make sure that the shoulders turn, all this kind of stuff. Those are just three things I think you might want to focus on to help. If we can get the club shaft in the right position, we can start to get the pressure moving correctly, and we can start to get the sequencing correct, which is point number one, really. We start to have a downswing, or a downswing which is started, initiated in the correct way. And that's really, really what this video is about. So three things. Understanding that the downswing starts before the club finishes moving away. Number two is all about trying to get these knees to function better as we start down. And point number three is all about can we get this club shaft into a good position, which will ultimately allow us to deliver the club more efficiently. Right, let me go and hit, hit one. I'm just going to go up the left-hand side of the range here, just so you can kind of see from a more down the line view. Okay, now point number three was all about the club shaft. I am not brilliant at demonstrating this because I don't tend to do that as well as I should. So I'll have a go in this, in this swing here, but it might not look exactly as I described. And again, I'd be pretty happy with that shot. Okay, three, three points. If you can focus on those, you will hopefully start your downswing better. And that is a very, very good way to start to deliver the club more efficiently. And ultimately, that's going to hopefully get you to play some better golf. Right, thank you very much for watching. Uh, you know what to do, subscribe button, uh, comments box, like button, all that kind of stuff down there. So please go ahead and do all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you haven't done already, please subscribe, as I've just said. Uh, it will make sure that you don't miss any of the videos, you won't miss any of the content, and it'll just make sure that you get a little notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, so thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again next time.